Okay, you guys have all seen this twine before. We all use it. it comes from oh, you can get it uh, Wally World. You can get it at your local hardware store. Same stuff they use for chalk line, all that kind of stuff. And when you cut it, you know when you cut it, it starts to fray apart like that. Well, what you gotta remember is it's nylon. So instead of cutting it, what I like to do. So I like to take it and I burn it apart and then it doesn't fray out. Okay? So you got frayed, non-frayed. It melts itself back together because it's nylon and it doesn't go anywhere. Just a little tip, as long as it's the nylon line Instead of fraying out like this on the end where you cut it and then you have to try and fight with it to get it through anything and it winds up un unraveling so quickly and uh, it makes a big mess. I like to take mine. Ta-da! Ooh, watch it. It gets hot. And uh, melt mine apart. And that way it still stays together and I can still use it. Of course you can clean up the end a little and, you know, heat up and dab it around just like you would with paracord or anything else and uh... you know tighten it up but there you go just a quick little tip you know you can get this stuff in black green all kinds of different colors orange pink you name it it comes in it Well, just because it's not that tarred stuff and just because it's you know whatever this stuff's cheap Ooh, this stuff's cheap and easy to be used I use this when I demonstrate different things for you guys so you can see it. Yeah, I got all kinds of different colors of it. But, um, I don't know. The tensile strength on this stuff's pretty good. And, uh, I mean, if you ever try to rip a piece of it apart, you know, obviously it's not going to hold you or anything like that, but good enough for making traps and other things. Well, I wouldn't use white, but. So there's my idea, guys. Instead of cutting it, just burn it. Go from there. Just a quick little tip for you all. Thanks for watching.